Chuck, recently Toyota invited people to find ways to solve problems in the real world using uh, new Prius technologies. Yeah, and you know what? They're actually really impressive, too. Oh, uh, we should probably say we're Josh and Chuck from HowStuffWorks.com. What we did was set out to see these ideas for good as they were, you know, brought to life. And we got a chance to meet the people behind them. This is Birkin with the uh, power plant gym. Yeah, I know, Josh. I was there, too. Remember? Well, I guess my first question is, um, what, you said you had this idea when you were 12? Yeah, about that, 12 or 13. I've been a cross-country skier pretty much my whole life, and uh, on the car ride to practice, we'd go past this YMCA, this huge, like, open, open window, and I'd see people doing, um, like, stationary bike workouts, and my dad would jokingly kind of say, like, all those people who could be outside skiing right now, and uh, one one day I muttered, or at least creating electricity. And he's like, yeah, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. we gotta keep the city going, man. <laughs> you, you probably had no idea when you were 12 years old that your little spark of curiosity would one day lead to I had hopes. fame and cars. But yeah, he had a he had a suspicion. I had a suspicion. Right when you said <laughs> it, you're like, I'm gonna That's win a... something <laughs> from that idea someday. <laughs> What I'm really excited about is the idea that it's kind of getting something from nothing. It's getting something from this form of energy that we don't, we're not capturing right now. Right, but we it's could there. Be. Yeah, it's there. And you can make fun of your friends. You'd be like, that's only 40 watts, you watts. <laughs> Do your part. Well, can you kind of explain how the, how the mechanical energy is captured and, and transferred? I sound knowledgeable, but I'm a pretty good actor, so maybe I'm not. So, if you have anything spinning, you can connect that to a magnet. Okay. So, what you want to do is just find a way to change the way that the force is being used. You know, originally you have it just going up and down. Right. And so, uh, with these resistance cords, you have this way to to get something spinning there. Right. 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 And that's how. That's the the premise of the idea. Whoa. Wow, you spiked at 180. Is that more? Yeah. There's this um, sandwich place that uh, there's we're supposed to eat at. And I can't, I can't remember the name of it. Have you heard of this place? Um, so supposedly it's the greatest sandwich on the planet. They put like the french fries on the sandwich, which I guess That's that constitutes. Idea too. It, it is. I I've agree. been doing that for years. I don't see what the big deal is. That's what everyone says to me. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever listened to our podcast? Unfortunately, no. Okay. I thought, I haven't ever really asked someone that question and had them say yes, to be honest. Well, we should stop asking people that. <laughs> right. That made a funny sound. Um, that's been doing that. There's a little puff of smoke back there, too. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, hold on, we're about to so that was Birkin, and I think we both agree that that was a pretty cool dude. Yeah, I mean, they were generating electricity um, from this resistance weight machine. It, it worked. With an idea he had when he was 12. Yeah, that was great. It's my favorite one so far, I think. Mine, too.